I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to today's Cisco certification training video, where today we're going to talk a bit about the show interface serial command and also mix in some troubleshooting tips for both your CCNA and CCNP exams, certainly, but also the real world. Because really, to be an effective troubleshooter, you have to know how things look when they're working correctly not just when something is broken and that's one big advantage of practicing with real Cisco equipment if you can for your certification exams because that way you do get to see how things look when they're working correctly then when you're out in the field and you're called in and something's not working correctly you have something to compare it to and we're going to look at a couple of different outputs of the show interface serial command some of them you've seen in my other YouTube videos and the ones on my website as well but I want to tie all these in one place for you because for one little command we can have a lot of things going wrong and generally where I use Cisco routers and switches live in my demos I've taken some screenshots here because I wanted to compare these particular outputs one right after the other and what we're seeing here of course it's truncated heavily truncated we're just looking at the top line of show interface serial zero on this particular router this is what we want to see and it's serial zero is up line protocol is up and if you're relatively new to Cisco studies that can throw you at first it did me because I'm thinking well how can I have two things up if I'm only worried about a particular connection or a particular interface keep in mind that the first part of this the serial zero is up portion is referring to the physical state of the interface where the line protocol portion is talking about the logical portion of the interface. And we're going to talk about a couple of different things that can make that line protocol go down. But let's look first at really the default configuration, if you will, on a Cisco router. These interfaces are going to be shut down. And when you run show interface serial zero and you see that serial zero is administratively down or any interface is administratively down, that simply means that it is manually shut down and you've got to open it. Simple enough. You just open it with no shutdown. Now, just a word of warning here for your exam, but especially for the real world. When you open a serial interface, always give the line protocol a minute or so to come up and stay up. Because what can happen sometimes is you'll see the line protocol come up, especially if you open a frame relay interface, a serial interface running frame relay, that is. You open that up, the line protocol shows us up, and you think everything's fine, and about 30 seconds later it goes down. So always give it a little bit of time before you move on. Now this combination is a little unique. You don't see this one as often. Serial zero is down, line protocol is down. So we've got a physical issue right off the bat, and of course if we have a physical issue it does follow that the logical state of the interface is going to be down as well. This can be caused by a cable being loose out of that interface, and occasionally, especially in crowded closets, and I don't know any closets that really aren't uh, crowded with routers and switches and cables, you know, cables get nudged a little bit over time. This can happen in your home lab as well, where you've moved cables around. Your elbow bumps one particular cable more than once, and it dislodges it just enough to make this combination happen. Serial zero is down, line protocol is down. So the first thing I like to do there, as I do with most of my troubleshooting, and I recommend you do as well, start at the physical layer of the OSI model. Just make sure everything's plugged in. It doesn't hurt to go ahead and unplug that particular cable, make sure you have the right cable, but go ahead and finish unplugging it and then just reseat it, just plug it right back in. And again, once you see that line protocol come up, just as you're seeing on the screen here, stick around and make sure it stays up. It only takes about a minute. If the line protocol is still up after 60 to 90 seconds, then you're perfectly fine. Here's a more common one, and the it's serial zero is up but the line protocol is down. What this means is that physically everything is fine. You know the cables there, no problems there, so the physical state of the interface is up, but logically it's down. And depending on what protocols you're running, you have to look at different things when it comes to that. It can be caused 
by a lack of the clock rate from the DCE, especially, of course, if you have a point-to-point -point connection, if you're using a DTE-DCE cable, the DCE has to supply clock rate to the DTE. And if it doesn't, if you forget that clock rate command, the line protocol will come down. A frame relay LMI mismatch can also make this happen. Of course, that's more common in home labs because once you have the frame relay LMI up and running in a production network, it's very rare that you're going to need to change it. But while you're practicing in your home lab, all of a sudden if you see this particular combination when you're working with frame relay, it's probably an LMI mismatch. Also, you can have an encapsulation mismatch period, again, with a point-to-point -point connection, especially in a home lab. If you're running PPP on one end and you're running HDLC on the other, it's going to come down. So while this is probably the more common of the combinations that need troubleshooting, serial zero is up, line protocol is down, this one has multiple reasons that can actually happen. So just take a look at what, you know, what protocol am I running here. Am I running HDLC? Am I running PPP? Am I running frame relay? Do I have directly connected serial interfaces? You know, is the lack of a clock rate the problem? That kind of thing. So those are the three major points that can cause that line protocol to go down. Hope you enjoyed this particular video. I'm Chris Bryant, CCI number 12933. I welcome you to come out to the website, www.thebryantadvantage.com. Over 250 free Cisco tutorials, videos, daily exam questions, practice exam questions, all kinds of great stuff. Again, thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you at the website.